hi guys in this video we will be looking at question 3 um mip 1502 but specifically we are going to look at number patterns right i want you to take your, your notebook now and um write this right we in in question 3 usually they put they like to put um different types of pattern specifically uh one linear pattern which has a common difference right so the linear pattern it's also a famous pattern that they love to put in mip 1502 um i hope you're noting linear pattern one number two it's a quadratic pattern where it has two differences the first difference and the second difference as well as the first term so that's the second um pattern then the third pattern will be a square pattern. When I'm talking about square pattern, I'm talking about, let's say when you're squaring one, one squared will be one, and two squared will be four, three squared will be nine. Such so pattern is called a square pattern. Then the fourth pattern will be a cubic pattern. Uh, you must be aware of those uh, patterns. The cubic pattern, uh, for example, one cube is one, two cube is eight, and so on and so on. So hope you're noting. So those are the, the most important pattern that you need to know before you attempt uh, question three, right? Without wasting time, let's get to today's video. And remember, if you're new to this channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe. You only subscribe once. Thank you to all who have subscribed. We are, we are approaching 1K. Uh, let's make it happen. Uh, I trust you guys and we will make it happen. Let's uh, start with today's video, right? So, um, first thing first, the numbers in the sequence 2, 7, and 12, 17, and 22 increases by 5s. We are being told that it increases by what? By 5s. And this one, is in, it, it, increase, it increases by 7s, right? Meaning that here we keep adding by uh, 5, here we keep adding by 7. But uh, we are being told the number 17 occurs in both sequences if two sequences contained. Then they said, what is the next same number that will be seen in both sequences? Well, um, we can see that 17 is the first intersection because they are common, right? We have 17 at, at this pattern. We also have 17. So we'll keep adding by uh, 5. Let's keep adding by 5. 22 plus 5 will give us uh, 27. Then 27 plus 5 will give us... Um, 27 plus 5 will give us 32. 32 plus 5 will give us 37. Uh, 37 plus 5 will give us 42. Um, 42 plus 5 will give us 47. Uh, 47 plus 5 will give us 52. Let me try to end here. Because I've already one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me try six again and see whether we will have a common number, right? So here we are adding by seven. So we're going to say 31 plus seven, which will result to uh, 38. So 38 plus seven will give us uh, 45. 45 plus seven will give us 52. Hmm. We have a common number. They said, uh, what is this, the next same number that will be seen in both sequences, which is an intersection? It's this one. It's 52. It's what? 52. Similar as we had 17 here, we also have a, sim a second similar number, which is 52. So that number that will be seen will be 52. So, But we have to show the steps first so that we can get all the four marks, right? Then they said... Explain how you solved uh, the problem in question 3.1.1. Well, the problem was solved by finding the, 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 the difference in both patterns. No? I hope you are writing this. The problem was solved by finding the difference in both patterns. For the first pattern or the first sequence, we added by a 5. And for the, the second one, we added by 7s. So another thing is that both of them, they have intersection of 17, and the second intersection is uh, 52 as we progress by adding the, 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 the fives and the sevens. So in that manner, we have uh, that's how we can solve that problem. I hope uh, you have written what I'm, uh, I've told you then. When I said that you, look, you first look at the, 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 the difference, 
then um, you keep adding by the differences to get the, the, the next consecutive number. As we progress, we saw the second number, uh, the similar uh, second intersection, which was 52, right? Then let's go to 3.2. A tile pattern, a tiling pattern is made up by arranging black and red squares as shown below. Ah, oh, this is a printout. Mine will be, all, all of them will be black, but yours must be red. You must have black and red, right? So they said, um, now we, at 3.2, we, we are supposed to complete the table for tile number five and six. So the first pattern, we're given three, five, seven, nine. Let's find the difference. What is five minus three? What is five minus three? That's two. So that means they keep adding by two here. Three plus two is five, plus two is seven, plus two it's nine, and uh, nine plus two, what is that? Uh, that is 11. Then, then 11 plus two, that will be 13, 13. Then uh, what is 13 plus seven? I mean, plus 2, sorry for that. Remember, it's 11 plus 2. It's 13. 13 plus 2. Um, oh, because we are looking for the 20, 20, the 21st, the 21st um, pattern. How will we get that? Firstly, we have to uh, analyze this pattern. This pattern is given as 3, 5, 7, uh, 9, and blah, blah, blah. So the difference here, we said that 5 minus 3 will give us 2. And that um, 7 minus 5 will give us 2. And that 9 minus 7 will give us 2. So this is the difference. You name it B. And this is the first term. You are going to name it B plus C. So since we have B as a difference as 2. So let's uh, work out the first term. So we have B plus C. Which is equals to the first term. Which is 3, right? So we are looking for C actually. We already have B. Remember B stands for a common difference. Which is 2. So we have b plus c, which is equals to 3. So where we see b, we replace it by 2. So plus c, which is equals to 3. So I'm looking for c. So I'm going to say 3 minus 2. What is 3 minus 2? That will be 1. So the standard form of a linear pattern will be tn, which is bn plus c. So we have tn there. So we have also our b is 2. So it will be 2n plus 1. So this is the um, this is the 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 the, the, the general um, term the general term for this red squares. So to get t twenty one, where I see a uh, n, I'm going to replace by twenty one. So it's going to be t twenty one, two times twenty one, plus one. So that will be two times twenty one uh, plus one, which will give you forty three. So in other words, we are going to have forty three here. So, similar thing, we need to, to, to work out uh, the number of black squares. We have 6, 11, 18. Let's see whether it, it has a difference. When I say 11 minus 6, what am I getting? It's 5. 18 minus uh, 11, I'm getting 7. So, there's no common difference here. Let's check whether what type of a pattern could it be this. All right. So, we have 6, 11, 18, 27. Okay, so I'm going to say 11 minus 6, guys. We said it's 5, and 18 minus 11, that will be 7. No? So from there, I'm having 27 minus 18, that will be what? That will be 9. So the difference here, 7 minus 5 will be 2, and 9 minus 7 will be 2. Let's see how we can get the fifth and the sixth and as well as on and the 21 and the 21st uh, pattern what they did here they just said six plus five which is 11 11 plus seven which is 18 18 plus nine which is 27 remember the number that follows nine here will be 11 since we are going to add by uh two no? this will be 11 the difference is two again 11 plus 27 27 plus 11 that is 38, meaning the, the, the fifth pattern. Meaning the fifth pattern will be 38. No? So 11 plus um, 2, what follows here will be 13, right? So 13 minus 11, that's 2. So let's see. They, they, to get the sixth term, we need to say 13 plus 38. Um, 
38 plus 13 there, which gives us uh, 51. To get the, the, the 21st, that will be a, a, a very difficult to work with it, but it can be easy using um, the general uh, term. We will name this second difference 2a, first difference uh, 3a plus b. Then the first term will be a plus b plus c. So whenever I'm working here, remember I'm having 2a, which is equals to 2. So I'll, uh, because I'm looking for a, I'm going to divide by 2. A will be 1. Right? A will be 1. So we are going to say 3A plus B, the first difference, which is equals to 5. Where you see A, you replace it by 1. Remember, we are solving here. 3 times 1 is 3 plus B, which is equals to 5. So when transpose 3 to the other side, since it's positive, it changes the sign, becomes negative. 5 minus 3 will be 2. For me to find C, this is, will be A plus B plus c which will be equal to six meaning that where there's a you replace it by one where there's b you replace it by two so we have plus c which is equals to six one plus two that's three plus c which is equals to six so i'm going to take a uh, three to the other side it changes the sign so it will be six minus three which is equals to c so six minus three is going to be three so we are not done guys we need to find the general term so the general term will be a n squared Plus, since it's a quadratic, Bn plus C. So, Tn, where does A, you put 1, so this will be N squared. Where does B, you put 2, this will be 2N. Where does C, you put 3. So, you will then check whether your, your equation is correct by substituting the first position. Where does N, I'm putting 1. Mm. That's 6, so that's correct. The first time there was 6, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see how we can find it at the 21st. So this will be 21 uh, squared plus 2 times 21 plus 3. What is that? 486. That means it's going to be 486, the, the 21 term. So let's, let, let us put all those terms. We said the first, uh, the fifth term will be 38, and the sixth term will be 51, and then um, 21 term will be 486, right? Will be 486. So to get the total sum number of squares, remember, we are going to say 3 plus 6, which is 9, 5 plus 11, which is 16, 7 plus 18, which will be 25, 9 plus 27, which will be 36. So we are going to say 11 plus 38 to find this missing part 11 plus 38 what is that uh, that's gonna be 49 so we are also going to say 13 plus 51 which will be 64 right 13 plus 51 which will be 64 so we're going to say 43 plus 486 which will be 429 yes we said 43 plus uh, 486 that will be 529 so we have already completed that diagram. That's a beautiful six marks that we are going to get there when we have done that, right? Then we are going at the last now, 3.2.2. Telelo uses the, follow, the, 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 the formula to calculate the number of red and black square. The formula A is given as Z so equals to 2 times X minus 3. Formula B is A Y is so equals to X squared minus, open the bracket, 2 times X minus 3. So what do uh, the letters uh, Z, X, and Y mean in Delelo's work? Well, guys, um, Z stands for uh, the number of red squares. I want you to note that. Z, we analyze this because uh, what sta uh, the starting point is the red squares, for which, is, which will represent the formula A. So it's for Z for red squares. Then um, what about X? <clears throat> so for x that will be the number of tiles number of um, tiles so what about the y y uh, those are black uh, squares right those are black squares so um, we still remember we start with red squares then followed by uh, black squares so that's how you are going to answer such um, uh, question at 3.2.2.1 at 3.2.2.2, show that the formula A works for tile number three. Let's 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 show. 
Um, uh, formula A, that, that's 2 times x minus 3. Meaning that where I see... Um, where I see a, 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 a x, I'm going to put 3. So 2 times 3 will be 6. 6 minus 3 will be 3. So we could say, uh, does it matches? Um, they said shows that formula show that the formula a works for tile number three. So we have shown that. So that will be two times three minus three, which is equals to three. So you have shown uh, that's two marks. If they wanted us to substantiate, we will have substantiate by checking whether it matches or not, right? For three point two point two point two. Then um, we go to three point two point three. Find the formula to calculate the number of red squares in terms of the tile number n well we have found the formula for this we have done that i've done that this side so the formula you follow the step guys we are going to follow this step this is the formula it will be you follow this step you are going to write these steps starting from here to here to find the general term so they're actually looking for the general term of this of three five seven nine blah 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 so in other words our general term here for the red squares will be tn which is equals to 2n plus 1 then we get a uh, um that beautiful two marks for the black squares in terms of tile n for the black squares guys uh, i did show you how the steps are going to be so this is the formula you are going to write but you must first show the steps because it's four marks show all the steps show all the required steps show all the required steps so in other words we are going to have um tn is equals to n squared plus 2n plus 3 then you'll get your beautiful four marks after showing all the steps all the necessary steps then at 3.2.4 calculate the, the the column num the column for tile number 21 using the formula in 3.2.1 so that will be easy guys we are using these two formulas right for the first for the red squares uh, we are looking for the t, t21 so the red so where we see uh, and we put uh, 21 so that will be 2 times 21 plus 1 so punch that in your calculator uh, you get 43 which exactly matches with the table uh, so that's correct for black we are going to use tn so equals to n squared plus 2n plus 3. Where you see n, you put 21. So this will be 21 squared plus 2 times uh, 21 plus 3. Let's punch our calculator. 21 squared plus uh, 2 times 21 plus 3. That will be 486 meaning that t21 will be 486 which matches with the, the, the table meaning that i'm right i can be sensei now and, sh and be sure that i am correct so that's how guys you can work out a uh, number patterns at um in uh, question three hope uh, you find this video useful do not forget to subscribe and remember guys we love you and we want you, we wish you all the best in this upcoming exam uh, I will drop another video for MIP 1502 February March 2024 as to prepare you. So the other remaining days will focus on MIP 2601 and MIP 2602. Wishing you all the, uh, the best in your examination. Uh, do not forget to subscribe and like the video as we are growing. Uh, thank you for those who keep subscribing. We are left with few subscribers to go to uh, 1k let's make it uh, happen uh, by sharing the link like and uh, share the videos uh, we love you guys and we wish you all the best